Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a very exciting video for you. I'm going to be getting ready to go to Tolly's Farm Shocktoberfest with NYX Professional Makeup and I'm so excited. This is a gifted trip ad and I'm so grateful and so excited. I thought I'd film a little get ready with me before I leave and then of course I will vlog the event too. I am so excited, I have not been able to concentrate all week. <laughs> One of my first ever products from NYX was this Brights palette. I have used this on my channel a long time ago and I really really enjoy having it in my collection. This is actually a newer version and I have still kept my older version because it's sentimental but yeah this is so cute. This event is for Halloween and it is a scare fest. I have never been to one before. I drive past Tully's all the time but I've never been in so this is my time and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much to NYX Professional Makeup for inviting me. I am just so grateful. I am wearing Barbie attire today, half Barbie attire. I actually split my trousers, so that is another story, but we're gonna go with the Barbie vibe anyway. For the next trip to Tully's, it only felt right to dress up as Barbie or have a Barbie-esque look. And of course, I'm gonna be using the NYX Barbie makeup to create this look. I did actually do so many videos with this collection last year, and I did say it was my favorite makeup collection of 2023, so it only felt right to go Barbie. This little NYX Barbie mirror phone has been with me in every makeup video since I got it and it's so cute. In case you didn't see the Barbie collection, this is what the little NYX phone looks like. It came out around the Barbie movie and I love it so much. The collection did also come with a Barbie party butter gloss, which is so cute. And I'm gonna be wearing that today. I really liked this. Look at the pink, I can't. There was also a little Ken palette, which came with a clear butter gloss, a tiny one, adorable. And then of course I did full on makeup looks with these. So if you want to see those videos, then they are on my channel. Today I'm just gonna to do a little Barbie look. Love this palette. And then there was also a little Barbie eyeshadow palette that had a sort of nude butter gloss. Again, it's tiny. And I really like this one. This has a beautiful gold in it. I really want to use the pink as well. So we'll see what kind of look we achieve. I just love this so much. And then finally in the collection was the NYX Barbie face palette. This has a highlighter and two blushes. These are all very beautiful. Like this highlighter here is incredible. <laughs> I just love it so much. So I had to do a Barbie look for this event. I have got my base makeup on at the moment and I'm just going to add some things and I've got my little NYX glitter pot too so we're going to have some fun with this and get ready for the Tully's event with NYX professional makeup. The first thing I'm going to pop on is the NYX duck plump. This is the clear one. It kind of looks like honey and I use this daily. It's very spicy so if you don't like spicy lip plumpers this one is one of the spiciest. <laughs> And I do really like these. It is very tingly. So if you're not used to that kind of thing, it might be quite a shock having this, but I have bought two of these already. This is my second one and I'm getting well through it. I put it in my everyday handbag and I really like it. Next to try, I've got the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade My Butter Half. These are one of the new NYX products and I love the packaging. It reminds me of Polly Pocket. It's so cute. And this is the kind of Barbie pink shade. I thought this was stunning. I think the concept behind these, they're kind of creamy but they do blend out like a powder and I've seen no end of good reviews on this so we're going to try this today and I definitely think this colour is very Barbie. I am going to tap this very lightly in there because I have tested this previously and it's very pink and for this I'm going to use my little Barbie mirror. I'm just going to tap quite lightly just on the cheek. I'm so excited for this event I can't. <laughs> I can't. I haven't been able to concentrate all week. And I love Halloween as well. Even though it's cold, it's just so much fun. And I think it gives you something really exciting to look forward to, especially as the seasons are changing. Halloween just kind of keeps autumn nice, <laughs> I think. And it's always fun to dress up. I'm gonna take my fluffy powder brush now and just dust out slightly, just to blend in a little bit more. I really like that pink. I think it's very Barbie and I'm very happy with that. We're gonna put some more on the other side. I have changed my outfit a few times. I've been definitely trying to channel Barbie through all of them because it only feels right. But I did actually split my trousers. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier in the video. So the costumes that I've worn over the years, I've had loads of Barbie costumes. I've got this baby blue thing that I wore to a Halloween event like three years ago, which is a Barbie exercise doll. I think it, that sounds weird. <laughs> it's a Barbie gym girl, I think it is. But I figured I wanted to be more pink and I've got a couple of other 
Barbie costumes that I tried on last year. I kind of made them out of my own clothes, not made them, but <laughs> putting outfits together. And I just really wanted something that looked good. So I wanted to channel Barbie as well as I could. And I decided to go for the sort of newer Barbie costume, did split the trousers. I'm hoping for another one to arrive before I leave. If the second costume doesn't arrive on time, I am just gonna pair this top with leather look leggings and then a leather look jacket as well, I think, just to keep it a little bit more autumn. <laughs> But I wanted to be full on Barbie with the pink trousers and everything just to channel this collection really with NYX. So we'll see, we'll make the most of it. Plus we are going to a farm so it's gonna be quite muddy. <laughs> That's what the Buttermelt blush looks like. I really love this shade. It's definitely Barbie. So if you are liking Barbie pinks, this is kind of like a bubblegum pink as well I'd say, but it's very beautiful and really is what I was going for today. Very happy with the formula. My question is, when are the highlighters coming from Buttermelt? because they would be amazing. <laughs> they also do loads of shades of these as well. Next, I'm gonna pop the NYX Barbie highlighter on. This is a beautiful gold color, very pigmented. It looks exactly like liquid gold. I absolutely love it. And for this, I just want to be gleaming. As I said, I am gonna be vlogging the event tonight, which I'm super excited about. It is obviously gonna be very dark there because it's a nighttime event. It is a sort of scare maze for Halloween, which is so cool, but I will be doing my best to vlog things even if it's dark and you can just hear me screaming <laughs> I'm still gonna upload it because this is such a exciting trip for me I can't explain I'm gonna pop some gold highlighter down the center of my nose a little bit as well and just on my chin and just a little bit around here I really want to put some pink highlighter on the NYX Barbie collection didn't come with a pink highlighter it does come with pink eyeshadows literally this highlighter saw me through 2023 I absolutely love it love the gold shine to it I might actually leave it like that for now and then if I want to add pink I might do that later that was the NYX Barbie face palette next we're gonna go into some pink eyeshadow I am so excited about this I am Gonna put some glitter on too and we're gonna just make a cute barbie look i've just primed my eyes and i just wanted to say i'm not a professional by any means i just enjoy makeup i literally don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i just enjoy makeup loads and i feel like nyx cosmetics makeup does make it really easy for beginners and we're gonna make a cute barbie look today first of all i'm gonna go back into the nyx barbie face palette and i'm gonna use this pink here as a base and I would love to know, have you been to Shocktoberfest before at Tolly's Farm? I would love to know. I've been watching loads of videos on it and loads of people have been, and loads of people have been filming really fun videos with it and I can't wait to go and film my own. If you do like vlogs and things, I do upload makeup, beauty and vlogs. So yeah, I might actually go to the beach hut a little bit before, I'm not sure yet. So if I do, I will show you an updated look of what the interior looks like. I'm so happy with it at the minute. And if you do like little renovation vlogs I am in the process of doing some of those which is very exciting. <laughs> I'm just laying the pink base down. I am going very pink today just because we are representing Barbie which is cool. I'm excited to see what other people are wearing. There's a little group chat going on with the people that got invited and I think a lot of people are just wearing casual with some nice makeup and to be honest I think any look's gonna look really good. I think we're all just very excited <laughs> but I just wanted to try and do something that represented me and my personality and then also something that combines with NYX professional makeup style as well. That's the base down using the Barbie pink from the face palette. I really like the pink colour. I feel like it matches my Barbie top very well and we're going to do the other side now. I have seen lots of previews of what the event's going to look like and I think there is a haunted boots <laughs> which is so cool and I would love to take some pictures and things in there. I think that would be really nice and boots is one of my favourite makeup shops. I think that and super drug is always really fun to go in and they always seem to have the best collections. So to see a spooky boots would be really cool and I want to see if I can get a cup <laughs> as well they have Shocktober Tully's cups which look very scary but I feel like that would be a really fun thing to have and yeah I'm going to explore and there's loads of people going everybody seems really nice and we're all really excited and share the same passions and things so it would be a really nice event to sort of meet people and I'm very excited this is what I've got on my eyes so far it's a pink base using the Barbie face palette I really like this blush as an eyeshadow I think I did it in the original video too and it just looks really nice the pink's perfect so we're going to move on to a shimmer now there is also a pink in this one but I wanted a more of a bubblegum tone but there is a hot pink in here for shimmer I'm going to start by going in this little lilac color 
This lilac's from the Ken palette and I love this. It's very pretty. And I want to incorporate a bit of this and then we're gonna go into some pink shimmers too. I'm just gonna take a tiny brush in that. And for this colour, I just want to pat it down on the inner corner slightly and bring it up. I feel like lilac and purple go so nicely together. And this lilac does have a pinky sort of tone to it, which I think makes it work really nicely. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. I actually want to put more of that on. <laughs> it's so pretty. I am going to be doing a lot of makeup videos where I'm just diving back into my collection rather than sort of going through new things. I really enjoy my old things and I feel like it would be so nice to just do videos with the things we have rather than keep buying things. I mean, I'm so happy with what I've got. So yeah, if you want to see more sort of nostalgic makeup videos or nostalgic videos in general, then I do plan to upload a fair few for the foreseeable. I love the lilac colour from the Ken palette. We're going to go in the pink one now. This is the Barbie palette and this is the pink that I'm going to be using for the wing. It's a hot Barbie shimmer. I think I just said hot Barbie. I meant hot Barbie pink. <laughs> just going to use the same brush again. And I am going to bring that over the lash line and then towards the wing just to deepen the outer corner slightly. I love shimmers. I am gonna pop some glitter over the top too, obviously. <laughs> and that's what the wing looks like. I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. I love the shimmers. These are tiny palettes, but I feel like the pigment makes up for it. Size-wise, it's just a very good quality eyeshadow palette. I really like it. That's what the two shimmers look like together from the Barbie and the Ken palette. I really like this look. Next, I'm going to go into the NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Pencil. This is in the shade Blueberry Muffin. This is what the shade looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. If I just do a swatch on the back of my hand, I think this would make a really pretty highlighter as well, but I am going to use this on the lower lash line. I'm just going to use that to draw under the lash line slightly, just on the outside, and then the same on this side too. I might actually put this on the inner corner, and then we'll tap it out. Love that colour. It's kind of like a mix between pink and purple. It's a very cute colour. I really like the NYX Jumbo Pencils. This is the only one I've got, but because the formula is so nice, I probably will look to try another one. I think a silver one would be so pretty. Speaking of silver, now we're going to go into the NYX Glitter Brilliance. This is a tiny little glitter pot. I used this so much last year, and it's got tiny glitter particles. And then if I dip my finger in there, you'll see what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's like a disco on your finger. And for this, I am just going to tap on the lid, just a little bit on the inner corner. I mean, I said a little bit, but can I ever control myself with glitter? Probably not. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's everything and everywhere. And then the same on this side too. I am going to fix my makeup with a setting spray. <gasps> oh, I mean, I cannot complain. I want it everywhere. <gasps> it's like a party just on your eyes and all down my cheeks. <laughs> It's so pretty. I think I say pretty too much. Even back here, you can see the light reflecting on this glitter. It's amazing. <laughs> and that is the NYX Glitter Brilliance. Granted, it's all over my face, but I am okay with that. I have also got the NYX Barbie Butter Gloss. We are gonna pop this on now, and then we're gonna set my face. This is the NYX Barbie Butter Gloss. I love this. I love the packaging as well. The fact it says Barbie all over it. And this is what the Butter Gloss looks like. A very pretty color. And it smells of vanilla too, which is really nice. I am definitely a lip gloss kind of girl and I feel like this butter gloss is the sort of midway point between a gloss and a lipstick because it gives you so much colour and it's really lightweight to wear and it's just very comfortable. So if you are a lip gloss kind of girl but want some pigment, these NYX butter glosses, they come in all sorts of colours, not just Barbie pink, they are incredible. And I think that just finished the look. <laughs> I'm going to go in with some mascara now. This is the Beauty Bait High Key Mascara. Love this. I've just finished that one now. It can go in my empties. Good job I've got another one. Luckily, I had a backup. And that is my mascara. I really love this mascara. It does give me loads of confidence. And yeah, really like this look. <laughs> I need to set my face now with my all-time favourite setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. I think this is my third year using this, I want to say. Just to clarify, you don't need that much. <laughs> But we've got some spooky times coming up and I need to not have my makeup sliding around. Should I let my mascara dry a little bit first? I 
I actually really love it. I love the gold. I think the pink goes really well with everything because everything's pink. And I think this is a really good sort of representation of my feeling towards NYX professional makeup because I love the Barbie collection. I loved it so much. I think the joy that pink brings me is just indescribable. It's just something that's always been with me and will probably always be with me. And I'm proud of that. I just love it. <laughs> I think my love for pink is spoken to in this collection. I really love the NYX Barbie collection it's just so nostalgic and cute and I really love the quality of the makeup and I think as you can see on my eyes even though I am not professional at all you can create a really cute look with it so I applaud that. I am so excited to go to Tully's now I am going to get my jacket on because it's going to be cold and it's going to be amazing again thank you so much to NYX Professional Makeup for inviting me I am very grateful and I just can't thank you enough and I hope you enjoy the vlog as well if you want to see the actual Tully's Shocktober vlog then that will be up very soon and if you want to see more from me you can follow me on Instagram that's at Zoe Glitter Zoe with a Y and let me know are you dressing up this Halloween I'd love to know what your costume is like or what kind of theme you're going for obviously mine had to be pink it just had to be <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye